Hello and welcome back to the fourth and final part of BI Mystery Files Sales Crash. If you've been watching the series, you'll know that in the last episode, we found the culprit behind the drop in conversions and sales of Snuzzles, a broken landing page link used in both Google Ads and email campaigns starting June 22nd. But now comes the big question, how did this happen? Today, we're diving into internal project data and HR records to figure out who set up those campaigns and why they got it wrong. Remember, you can still download the data for free this week and follow along by checking out the link in the description. Let's jump in. So the first lot of data we're looking at today comes from a tool called Trello. It's a project management tool that's like a digital pin board. In our Snuzzles account, different departments have their own boards. Tasks appear as cards which are grouped into lists. The marketing board, for example, includes lists like planning, campaign setup, copywriting, media buying and performance review. Each campaign related task is tracked as a Trello card and assigned to a specific team member which makes it easy to see who was responsible for what. Now we're going to be doing something a little different today compared to the previous days. Whereas for Shopify, Google Ads and Analytics we had a single dataset to work with, for Trello we've got four separate datasets that come from four different tables within the Trello data schema boards, lists, cards and members. We're going to need to join these tables together so that we can find out who was responsible for setting up the Snuzzles Glow campaign for week four. I've put all of this data into tables inside Google's Cloud Data Warehouse BigQuery and here I've written a SQL query that joins everything together and gives us the data we need. If you're not familiar with SQL, don't worry, it's fairly easy to follow along. We're selecting the name fields from the four tables. I've aliased the tables, which is what you're seeing before each field name. We also need to alias the different name fields because otherwise they would be ambiguous. And then we left join the tables using their common data fields, or rather the fields in both tables that contain the same data values. Finally, because we're only interested in the marketing department board, I have added a where clause. And that's it. The result looks like this. To connect this table to Looker Studio, I can simply save this as a view and then use the native BigQuery connector. We can add a new page to the report and then put together a simple table containing the list, card and member names. Now, because we've filtered the results on the marketing board, we have much less data to look at. And from this, it's clear to see the person assigned the task of setting up the campaigns for week four is Sam Ironside. So let's figure out who Sam is and his role within the company. We're going to need this HR data that contains the employee ID, full name, department and job title. What we'll need to do is join this to our big query data using employee name. But because this data isn't in our data warehouse like the Trello data is, we'll need to use Looker Studio's blend functionality, which theoretically we could have used for the four Trello tables as well. We start with our big query data and add all of the fields. Then add the HR data and its fields. Then specify the join, which will be member name from Trello and employee name from HR. Now, because this creates a new data source, we'll need to quickly recreate this table here.
we can see that Sam Ironside is the marketing intern. This could explain how the mistake was made, if Sam is someone still learning on the job, for example. Then it would fall to his manager to perhaps check the campaign setup before it goes live. In fact, looking at Google Ads setup for weeks one to three, it was Alex Johnson, the marketing manager, who set up the campaigns. Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe Alex was absent. If so, we'll need to check our records. Now here is the final piece of our data jigsaw puzzle, the absences dataset. And here it is added to the report. It includes employee ID, absence type, start and end dates, reason and status. But it doesn't include the employee name, so we'll need another data blend with the HR dataset, this time using employee ID. In a new page, we'll build a quick table with employee name, absence type, start date, and end date, so that we can check Alex's absences. He's been on annual leave twice in January and March. And there we have it, folks. He was off sick from the 20th to the 23rd of June, right around the time the week four campaigns needed to be set up and launched. Which means it looks like Sam the intern stepped in. And with perhaps no one to check his work, the mistake was made. So there it is. We now know what went wrong and how. A missing redirect or misconfigured link, likely entered by an intern covering for a sick colleague, caused conversions and sales to crash. But could this have been prevented? Well, that's what management will now need to address and then implement any changes in processes necessary to avoid this kind of mistake occurring in the future. And this really is what business intelligence is all about. It's not just about dashboards. It's about using data to monitor performance, detect anomalies, and get to the root cause of what's really happening in the business. And that only becomes possible when you're able to bring together data from lots of different sources, from marketing platforms and analytics tools to internal systems like HR and project management. BI isn't always about complicated analysis. Most of the time, it's about having the right data and knowing how to connect the dots. That's the true value of business intelligence. And hopefully this series has helped you see that in action. Just to wrap up, with the mystery now solved, the deadline for submissions is closed. If you submitted your theory prior to today's video, I'll be checking them and choosing the winner of free enrollment to either my BI Analyst Starter Program or BI Consultant Masterclass. You've also still got a couple of days left to download the data for free, then it will become a paid download. But if you can't afford it, don't worry, I'm also giving away a free prompt cheat sheet so you can use AI to generate your own version of each of the datasets we used. If you enjoyed this video series, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so that you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Until then, bye!